Yeah, the whole concept of it. Today we have got a beautiful day in the Dales, 200k, over 3,000 meters uh, elevation. And I thought I would take today because I've done this route maybe three times. It would be a good day to give you some tips on how to climb like strong all day. We've got some steeps so before going up part rash, which is I think it hits 30%. Morning. Morning. And Coal Road, which I think is 25. And it's just a lot of climbs. It's the Dales. That's what it's made for. And it's freezing. Oh, and I'm here with Darren, so he'll give you some tips as well. Well, basically, just he'll give you all the tips that I gave him because he's turned into a pretty good climber. First tip get light before the climb. He's been in there ages. Darren? You're right. Yeah. Give that Jokes. Uh, don't matter what you weigh. First proper tip is like planning or knowing where the climb's going to be in the day, just because you don't want to like smash it out and then like have three of the biggest climbs of the day. So just I just I like to pace it and know where the climbs are. So now we're in Kettlewell, right to go up Park Rash. Ready? Have you done the bit about putting all your kit in somebody else's bag? That that is also a good is that tip, tip too. Tip two, my jacket's in there. Thanks, the donkey. <laughs> and let's be real, I've, uh, I've done part rash. I think I've done it three or four. I've done it loads of times. And when they're with the steep, I still think, am I gonna get up it? This is like another tip. You've got to think positive. Imagine yourself getting up it. Like mental game is so, so important talk yourself up and draw on like experience that you've done like think of all the steep climbs that you've done That wasn't so bad. <laughs> so that's the third out of 15 climbs I think to do. Awesome, because this is the thing, when you get the climbs, you also get the views. Look at the views. And this is Darren's favorite, to show you it's one of his favorite stretches of road. Absolutely stunning. Make sure you're fueling really regularly. Like I've got a thing set on my Garmin to remind me to eat. Just have like a little bite of a date or a little drink. Because obviously you're climbing, you're using a lot more energy than if you're just, you know, steady pootling along on the flat. Another tip is make sure you're drinking water, but make sure you're having electrolytes because when you're sweating on the climbs all day, you just don't want to just be replacing water, you want to be replacing the electrolytes and stuff that you've lost. So I used to really struggle with that. I used to just drink loads and loads, I didn't have electrolytes and wondered why I'd feel tired or just headachy. And it was because I wasn't having electrolytes. So that is a, a massive one. Passing on words of wisdom. Weirdo. We're in Leyburn, a nice little co-op. Co-ops are my favorite on. Long rise. Yeah, we've done 75k, 1200 meters climbing, and I think it's like a 7k climb up that way. So I'm just gonna crack on. Let's get your good. Let's get your good side. <laughs> that is actually my good side. How did you know? Is Come it? on, let's go. 
sure that you've got enough clothes with you if you're going to be out all day because there's nothing worse than being on the hilltops and the moors and stuff and just being cold because it's so windy and blustery but it can be up there so just make sure you've got plenty of clothes have mates with you that you can like race up against on the hills like there's no better motivation than being with your mates and just like trying to beat each other it's so much fun also i should add that in the past i've always pretty much dropped uh Darren on all the climbs but he's been getting some training on zwift he's keeping me on my toes why I've just put a mouthful of sweets in and then um, turned the GoPro on. Anyway, I've done 152k, 153, let's round it up. And 2,800 meters, we've just done Coal Road. And I think we're on, this is like a 5k climb. And then I think we've just got one last one back into Clitheroe. How are you feeling? I love this route so much. This is, I think this is my favorite 200 that I've ever done. And I have done it now, like, I think it's my third or fourth time. It's called Delightful Dales Overdax. Have a look at Strava. Uh, I'll leave it in the description so you can have a look where I've been. Just the best. The best if you like climbing, that is. And being in the middle of nowhere. Which I love. We like the hills. I spent eight pounds on smoothies today. They're cold. Oh, it's cream head. You look like a little gnome. <laughs> Those little hats are so good. Mine was from Aldi about six years ago. I think it was when I first started riding and it's been amazing. It's like four quid. Aldi smash. We are 200k in and about 3,400 meters. We've got 10k left and one little climb left. Yeah, feeling good. Now my breathing suggests otherwise. And I'm saving my best tip for last when we finish. So make sure you keep watching. And you like this video and subscribe. I never say that. But if you like it and it's helped you, then do it. But it's bloody windy. In fact, it's been bloody windy all effing day. I feel like every direction we've turned, it's just been like, just headwind, crosswind. We had, I think we had about five kilometers of tailwind. I was like, wow, this feels amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go. See you at the end for the final. And I think, I think this is the best tip of all of them. Climb 15 of 15. Championi. Good job, missus. Championi. Look at that mark on your head. I know, it's tight. Just all saying we've all got little red wind chapped faces. Is yours? Yeah, yours is pretty red. Yeah. Like little gnomes. Oh, have you got a little red hat as well? Red hat. No, I'm not putting that on. Go on. No. What's the word like? It's like word alone for a minute. <laughs> Where's it? Five no, 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 no. I'm saying like if there's any, any, if you've got any doubt about doing all that, maybe this will sway you. So I think it's like, what was it? Four pound to enter. Cake on the table. Red toast. Alpin. This is the final and I think probably if not the one of the most important tips and I think that's gearing just if you're going to do loads of hills and you want to feel fresh all day like just get just get lower gearing I just oh I think personally I think that the GRX stuff is the Shimano GRX is the easiest kind of go to it's because you can get a 4630 at the front and then you can put a 34 on the back i don't really feel like either because you've got that set up like that that gear in do you feel like you ever like miss because everyone's like oh you'll miss out on the the big ring though like descending and stuff no you can do 40 mile an hour yeah, yeah. and he's he's fast down now you can he's do 40 fast. mile an hour with the 40 46 11. yeah yeah fly and, and I always think as well, when people say that though, I think, but then I would always rather have a lower climbing gear than one to smash down like descents. And Toonie, who is turning to a little climber, do you have any last tips? Train for it. Yeah? Train for it. 
You, you started doing training. You, I said to him ages ago, I was like, you should do some like stuff on Zwift. You know? 10 week Zwift program. Yeah. Fantastic, brilliant. Awesome. And somebody gave me a recommendation. Can't remember who it was. <laughs> It was a good tip, real good tip. If you've got any other tips um, for climbing, then leave them below. Or if you've got any other questions, leave them below. I can always answer them in another video. But yeah, that's uh, another 200k hilly climb. Climbing day done. Oh, God, right, let's go. See you next week. A tampon. <laughs> Shut up. Right. Carry on, we're just talking to yourself now. Mm, big ring, look at that. Another tip, say it, big ring. You went big you ring. just put it in there. I haven't. Well, Shall we do it? You're making this up? D get off. I, find, oh, I can't remember what I was going to say. What am I saying? Epic. How did you get up Park Rash on? Oh. How? How do you do it? I have got cleats, so I don't want to get clipped in. So I would just like do it like that and then just push off. Good luck, Dalek, thank then. you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs>